I have a question. But this question is actually for the core. The core of all life as we know it from the beginning of time. I don't expect the people walking around on the face of the earth with zero intelligence to even know the answer to this question. So, you know, if you want the truth, go to the core. Let me paint this scenario before I ask this question. So a, two individuals uh, conceive a child out of wedlock. And by the cavities of her soul in the canals of birth, the woman in today's world becomes the mother. She also is noted as the custodial parent because she has custody of the child. And this custody strand goes on for, let's say, 13 years, okay? In that 13 years, as a single mother, she has to endure a lot of obstacles, let's say. But because she had the child at such a young age and her mind was not fully formed, it's not as easy as it would be if she was allowed to form her own mind before conceiving and giving birth to a child. So she struggles. And because she doesn't have a true support system, it's an added struggle on her, okay? So she turns to the local Department of Social Services for assistance. And unfortunately, she has this thing called evil come knocking at her door. And uh, once he's inside, she you know, realizes evil is within her home and she tries to get rid of him. And so she turns to local law enforcement because after all, he's beating her, beating on her children. And uh, you know what they tell her? Well, you let him in. Now you're going to have to serve him an eviction notice to get him out. So then, you know, he finds ways to control her, like locking her in the bathroom and, you know, piping her up with fucking drugs. And she eventually gets evicted from her home. And to safeguard her children, she takes one of her children and sends them off with her father and the other one she tries to hold on to until she can find a new residence for all three of them. And then that child that she's holding on to gets rerouted to another state. So now she now has no rights over the child, the two children. Okay. She has no rights. And so the father that she placed one of them with gets married. And his wife is neither legally documented as the custodial parent, the non-custodial parent, the stepmother, or even any parent. And she has more rights with that child than the woman that gave birth to him and raised him for 13 years. And this all falls under HIPAA, I guess, because under HIPAA laws, the mother, the biological mother does not have the rights. It's the named mother on their records. So yeah, that's the scenario. And the question for the core is under these laws that they now have called HIPAA, where they're supposed to protect the individuals not only identity, but their health and their medical records. But if the biological mother has 
the inability to make an appointment for the child in the non the individual that's a non custodial parent, not even a custodial parent, not even a stepmother or a parent listed on legal documents has the right and ability under HIPAA laws to make those appointments and stuff, then what's the whole purpose of HIPAA to begin with? And at what point does blood even matter? Because if blood doesn't matter and ancestry lines don't matter under local laws, under any of these laws, then why are we here? So, poor. I do not expect the Nimwits walking around on this planet. How the fuck we, you know, it's another topic of conversation. How did the core allow life to get to this point? What happened to the core of existence? Are you out there? Are you still there somewhere? I already know the answer to these questions, but I need verification. So I know this will reach the core. And when it does, let's have an impact with some sound associated with it. Just a radio or frequency of verification on your end.